In this video, we're going to be looking at whether you should use a comma before the word and. Unfortunately, this is not a yes or no question. There are some rules and conventions that we need to follow. By conventions, I mean writing conventions. More specifically, whether you're following the American writing convention or the British writing convention. The first rule is that there is no comma with two list items. Look at this example, fish and chips. This is two list items separated by the word and. As there are two list items, there is no comma. And so this is correct. If you're British, then the second rule is that there is no comma with three list items. So an example would be fish, chips and peas. Here is our word and, and there is no comma before it. This is also correct. However, the American convention is different. So for Americans, the rule is use a comma with three list items. For example, burger, fries and a shake. Here's our word and, and you can see there is a comma before it. So this is correct for Americans. I should also say that some Brits also use this convention. And one particular notable among those Brits is the Oxford University Press. And that is why this comma before the and in a list of three items is sometimes called the Oxford comma. More commonly, however, it's called the serial comma. OK, let's clear that. Let's put up another example, but this time in a sentence. She must be able to sing and dance. Well, there's our word and. And there is no comma before. It is correct because this is just two list items. Let's look at one with three list items. She must be able to sing, dance and tell jokes. Sing, dance and tell jokes. Here's our word and, and notice there is no comma. Remember, this is correct for those following the British convention. But we now know there is another convention, the American convention, and those following British convention who use the Oxford comma. So here's our word and, and this time there is a comma. And this is correct for Americans and some Brits. Let's clear most of that. Look at this example again. She must be able to sing and dance. Well, here's our word and, and notice that it joins two words. In this example, those words are verbs, but those words could be anything. They could be adjectives, they could be nouns, they could be phrases. Now is a good time to tell you that the word and is a conjunction, and conjunctions are joiners. Here you can see it joining two words. I'm telling you this because I want to make a comparison with the next sentence. She must be able to sing and she must be able to dance. Here is our word and. This time, however, it joins two independent clauses. And this is a key point for understanding whether to use a comma before and. Remember, an independent clause is a clause that can stand alone as a sentence. So if you look at both halves of this sentence, each half could be its own sentence. That's the definition of an independent clause. So here's our first independent clause, and here is our second independent clause. Notice there is a comma now. This is correct, and this would be correct for everybody. I just want to talk very quickly about these independent clauses. Notice that each independent clause has a subject. And as you come to ask yourself whether 
Your and should be preceded by a comma. You must get good at spotting these subjects because that is a great clue to determine whether your and joins two independent clauses or two something else's. Okay, let's clear that. Let's look at a fresh example. Lee likes pies and cakes. This is two list items, so there is no comma before the and. That is correct for everybody. Lee likes pies, cakes and fruit. There's our and. This is three list items. So this is correct for those following the British Convention. But we now know that there is another convention, the American Convention and those who follow the Oxford comma. So there's our word and and there is our Oxford comma. This is correct for Americans and some Brits. But look at this one. He likes pies and cakes and he likes fruit. Let's dissect this. Let's look at the first and. The first and just joins two list items, in this case two nouns. So there is no comma. But look at this and. This one joins two independent clauses. So this time there is a comma. And notice we have our subjects in those independent clauses. So this one is correct and this would be correct for everybody. Let's clear that. Let's put up a summarizing table. Two list items. No comma before the and. An example, a shark and a whale. This time the and joins two phrases. They're short phrases, but they're still phrases. Next, three or more list items. Well, we have two conventions here. The British Convention, no comma before the and. So a shark, a whale and a dolphin. The American Convention, use a comma before the and. A shark, a whale and a dolphin and a situation with two independent clauses, use a comma before the and. He saw a shark and I saw a dolphin. Let's mix this up a bit. He saw a shark and a whale and I saw a dolphin. Here is our first and, which is joining two phrases, a shark, a whale. That's two list items, there is no comma. Now let's look at our second one. He saw a shark and a whale, and I saw a dolphin. This is two independent clauses, so this time there is a comma before the and. And if you understand that, then you've understood this lesson. There is another key point. You should follow whatever convention is used locally. But, if following that convention causes ambiguity, you should use the other convention. I wanted to make this point, but I'm not going to talk about it in this video. I will, however, leave a link to a lesson about this point in the description. Let's clear that. So, the answer to the question, is there a comma before and, may have been a bit more complicated than you hoped. But I've now got some good news. This is true not just for the word and, but it's true for all words like and, called coordinating conjunctions. And here is a list of them, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. You can remember these from the acronym FANBOYS. By far, the three most common are and, which we've covered, but and or. So, now you know when to use a comma before and. And but, and or, and for, and nor, and yet, and so. That's everything. Thanks for watching.